Hey, Michelson viewers, I am back uh, in the Ontario International Airport. Um, going on another trip to the factory in Taiwan. Pretty excited about it. And uh, we're gonna go visit uh, the factory that builds our nomads. We've got a couple of them under construction. And also um, a Michelson 50. And I'm gonna head over to the factory that builds our Michelson 43s currently, inspect hole number 99 and 100. And then uh, going down to the south end of the island to look at the factory that's gonna build our new Maverick. Uh, so super excited about that. So I'll have some more stuff to come. Um, we'll show you guys all the boats under construction, show you the factories and show you uh, what's going on down uh, south. Um, unfortunately, I'm missing my bro, my wingman, Sam, this trip. Um, so you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to just uh, bear with me on this one, but um, excited to show you guys some cool stuff that's going on over in Taiwan. Um, and uh, yeah, the uh, Ontario International Airport has not disappointed. This place is easy. It's uh, uncrowded, parking simple. Um, don't want to give away a, a great secret here, but if anyone's traveling internationally, especially on China Airlines, uh, this is definitely the airport to do it from. Anyway, um, more to come. Look forward to showing you some cool stuff uh, on Michelson. All right, Michelson YouTube viewers, I am here at our factory that builds our 43s uh, called Sing Hang Marine. I'm just gonna kind of give you guys a quick tour, show you inside. Sing Hang has been building our 43 Michelson since 1997. Hi. Oh, this is Alex Chen. He runs the factory here. Hi, Alex, YouTube. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Good. We, we just want to say thank you so much for building so many great boats for us. No problem. So, yeah, that's what we should do. Yeah, so Alex also builds some really neat boats for, uh, I think that one went to um, uh, Australia? Yeah. 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 And then this is a, a local boat that he builds for the, the local uh, Taiwanese market. And... Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just show you guys around, take you out to um, the factory, and show you hole number forty three, number ninety nine, and one hundred. So, all right, we'll follow you, Alex. All right, guys, we're gonna get our first glimpse of forty three, number. This must be ninety nine. Yeah, it's ninety nine. Different right. color. Yeah. yeah different so, color. That's gray. Gray gel coat. Yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. I love it. It's subtle, but you can see the difference between that and the, the bottom, the white gel coat on the bottom. Maybe I can put some of the white. So yeah, there you go. The, There's the contrast. Yeah, white. Oh, that looks beautiful, Alex. This is the fly bridge for her. Okay, so there's the fly bridge for 43, number 99. The consoles. Console, the seat. So all these pieces have their own molds and they're all built separately and then put together as the boat's nearing completion. And this is the cradle. I think people already see. Yep, so that's what the, the boat will ship in that cradle when it comes over to the United States, yes. right? Yes. Yep. Beautiful, all right. All right, guys, we're gonna take you inside this uh, latest Michelson 43 under construction. This is hole number 99. And uh, just gonna kind of take you through the boat so you can see what it looks like in the production stage. Uh, point a couple of cool things out to you. So here, here in the cockpit, This is, uh, this is where our um, cockpit controls will be. We're gonna do conventional cockpit controls on this one. This is kind of fun. We're gonna have a, a dog bowl, a pull-out dog bowl, uh, food and water right there for, for Pooter and, uh, and Murphy, which would be kind of cool. Here's our day head before there's a head in it. And this is gonna actually be pretty cool. We're gonna have a shower, rain head shower there. Um, so it'll be a neat little shower as well. There's our tackle center. Coming inside, we've got our usual aft galley layout. 
Obviously no appliances in yet, no countertops on yet. Kind of see what everything looks like in the production stages. So this will be our head right here on the port side. Our shower will be there. That drain right there will be for our head sink. We'll have a big cabinet there. And then if I switch views over here, that's our guest stateroom. And here's a little glimpse of our, our under salon. A little dark down there, but uh, you can see what's going on. And then here's our master. And what he's working on, what he's working on right here is that's a panel that's actually gonna go on the bulkhead and it's gonna be covered in vinyl because we're gonna do some neat white vinyl paneling on this 43, give it a little bit more of a modern look. Um, and we squared off the, the cabinets, outboard. Again, just kind of going for a little bit different look on this boat, it's gonna be really neat. And uh, if you look out here, you can see our flybridge structure. There's the hard top, bench for the flybridge. There's our flybridge console. And I'll take you guys uh, and show you the engines which are not installed yet, but are there and there. So walking up our flybridge stairs. Here's our flybridge with nothing in it. So that box right there is gonna be under the helm and that's our fishing rod storage locker. So you can see there's our foredeck and again there's all the parts and pieces for the flybridge all right guys I want to show you the bottom of this 43 there's our trim tabs our rudders and these are solid plates as you can see just one solid piece of uh, really high quality stainless, which is a really good way to build a rudder. There's our shaft tube. So you have two cutlass bearings on these 43s. Actually, this is half a cutlass bearing where the shaft actually comes out of the hole and then it runs back to our strut. And that's, you got your other cutlass bearing in here. The shaft will go through. There's our strut. See on the other side, same thing. And I'll walk you guys up and uh, see if the bow thruster's in yet. Not yet. So they've got the whole cup, but they don't even have the thruster tube in yet. So you can see this is under the, the forward master stateroom bed. And that's where the uh, thruster will be installed. All right, guys, these are our QSB 550 horsepower 6.7 liter Cummins engines for 43 number 99. Not installed in the boat yet, obviously, but uh, these will be dropping in shortly along with the generator. And I'm not going to take the plastic off, but I'm sure you can appreciate these engines through their plastic covers. Keep the dust off them until they're installed. Again, here's a clo close up of our flybridge. Here's the hard top. And you can see they've already got in the, uh, that's where the 12 volt sub panel will be for the flybridge and again here's our flybridge seat and our forward helm all right guys this is the uh the deck mold for 43 number 100 it is not yet on the hole so they have not been joined together yet obviously but i wanted to show you guys what the deck mold kind of looked like before it was uh, on the hole. So there's a Michelson 43 deck before it's joined with the hole. So pretty cool. And you can see inside In not too long a time, this will be a nice, finished out, beautiful, brand new Michelson 43.
All right, guys, those are the fuel tanks for 43 number 100. Got the water tank there. That's the holding tank. Here's the hard top being built. This is the forward most bulkhead in the boat between the master stateroom and the anchor locker. Here's our web frames of bulkheads that go over. You can see the cutouts for the whole stringers there. So they'll fit over the whole stringers and, uh, and separate the particular areas of the boat. That's the Michelson 43 flybridge mold there. And if you come over, here's our 43 hole mold. And there is the hole of 43 number 100. So the bottom of this boat's solid fiberglass, as you can see by the color variation. The sides are cored, save weight. There you go. So guys, that's the 43 bulkhead. Is that from the master stateroom? Yeah, that's that's the bulkhead from the or the template for the bulkhead from the master stateroom, and they lay it down. You can see they've laid it down on this this FRP bulkhead that they've built in just a big sheet, and they'll cut it. They use a template. They'll cut that shape out, and once it's cut, it'll be put into the mold here, and that'll be. The bulkhead between the master stateroom and the salon on 43 number 100. You can see the door will be right there where that rectangular cutout is. So those are all fiberglass and those are for a uh, Semiconductor factory. Yes. Pretty cool. All right, guys, so this is Alex's test pond. It's the uh, perfect shape and size for Michelson 43. So when each boat is built, they put it in here to make sure everything's looking good, watertight, they run the engines. And then after they run the engines, they buy new fish. But in the meantime, they got a few in here. Maybe there's some that survive, but I wouldn't want to eat them for lunch. All right, so we figured out what these do. The semiconductor factories make a lot of dirty water, so I think they pump it in the top it runs through several different types of filtering systems and by the time it comes out the bottom it's clean and they can pump it back into the rivers and ponds yeah. is that a good right description yeah okay all right